Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. I do apologise for my absence. Obviously I've been busy doing the um, extension on the fish room. So the whole um, fish room now is currently 9 metres long by 3 metres wide. So yeah, we've got plenty of room now. Um, like I say, the extensions for the indoor predator pond, for those who don't know. Um, yeah, everything's doing well guys. Just thought, like I say, I'd drop you a little update because I've been absent for nearly 15 days, so I do apologise for that. I did upload a bit of a short, just a little sneak peek of what's been going on, but hopefully tomorrow I'll have all the insulation done, roof, everything, everything boxed off, and then I'll start work on the externals. Obviously the um, feather edge board, because like, obviously outside it's got feather edge, it looks like an old log cabin, so it's, I do like the look to be fair, but yeah. Literally been non stop. Um, did the roof last Sunday, that went well. Um, got all the joist runners in, all notched out. Got the noggings in. Um, we put a rubber roof on from um, where's it from now? Oh, bloody hell, rubber for roofs on eBay for the UK people. Um, pretty good to be fair, to be honest. So, yeah, done a really good job. Dead easy to fit as well. Comes with a glue and everything. I weren't messing about with roof and felt. I'm, I'm not bothering about them old days messing about with roof and felt with bloody stones all over it so yeah um, flat out everyone flat out and um, fish are all doing well and um, everyone outside starting to slow down now and um, sturgeon is still feeding they'll feed all winter to be fair I'll just have to be careful how I feed them I basically um, I'll put a pipe in the pond and tip the pallets through the pipe so they get to the bottom before the koi see them because obviously it's 50% protein sturgeon pallets I use so I don't want them eating that in the colder months because obviously they can't digest the food in the colder months so just have to roll back on the feeding for a bit but yeah um, everyone in the predator tanks doing well turtles are doing well um, I've got a new fish as well in the um, in the living room a it was should have been a um, dovi cichlid so um, yeah it turns out it's a um, Cuban cichlid on his own in a 80 litre tank so I say I want to set the um, 300 litre back up but I don't know what to do I don't know whether I have a bit of a small predatory community tank with um, geophagus and um, birches and stuff like that but then I'm thinking do I have something like nasty like just one piranha one wolf fish um, one of Martus Pyari, just something basically on its own that's horrible because <laughs> obviously this is Koi and Predators UK so I think me having a bit of a community tank would um, kind of change the name of the channel on it so yeah I think I'm aiming for um, probably yeah Black Rom's Piranha 5 inch one so um, yeah just basically do a nice planted tank for him nice setup in the 300 litre and um, yeah get a Black Piranha I think we well, call them the red eyed black piranha, the diamond piranha. But basically it's the biggest one. They don't they don't like being together, they're solitary on their own. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that guys. Um spin you around, I'll show you the predator tank. It's a bit murky at the minute, I'm currently doing the water change, so um I've been like I say, I've been that busy this week, I've had no time to do a water change, so poor buggers have had dirty water for nearly a week and a half, which I'm not happy about, so there you are guys. Like I say, they're all soaking. No one's happy. Filters try and get back in because the water was too low. Um, so at the back there, for those who don't know, we've got a 24 inch clown knife. We've got the um, 18, 19 inch Emperor Snakehead. You can tell he's unhappy because he's changed colour. We've got the 14, 15 inch Albino Giant Garami. Oh yeah, we've got the um, sailfin pleco there as well. Then we've got Big Gazzy. Big Florida Spotted Gar. Absolutely mint fish, I love him. We've got the Albino Silver Arowani. Rocking around, I don't know, 20 inches nearly. We've got the definitely a good 24 inches plus this big Silver Arowani. Absolute monster she is. He is. <laughs> We've got big Kyle, big tiger shovel nose Kyle. He's pushing 22 inches. Absolute monster. 
but over here, um, obviously, um, what is it? I put the um, two red tails in here out the IBC grow on tank, which I shut down. So this is Ravishing Rick Rude, the common red tail. So we've got the two Oscars at the back, we've got the flag tail, we've got the Niger Ripsaw catfish in here, and then we've got the Panda Red Tail catfish, which you can tell the difference. She hasn't got the white dots on the back. She's got darker feelers, darker fins. Like I say, they're unhappy because of the water change. But yeah, for those who don't know, red tail catfish are my favourite predatory fish. So there's a big snake So yeah, for those who don't know, for the new subscribers, obviously this is a predator tank and I've got koi carp outside. So like I say, for those who have seen the um, few videos of the building next door that I'm doing, that's going to be the whole of that area is three metres square internally. It's going to be a full three metre square pond for these predator fish in here and four and a half foot deep. I think with a filtration system it's going to be just over 15,000 litres so more than adequate room for these monsters like I say this is just a grow out tank for them till they built the pond there's no need for bog wood, plants, any sort of soil. I used to have sand in here but it was an absolute nightmare, it was clogging up the filters, the, the impellers on the FX6s. So, this is why it's bare, and I, I think it's the best way for predator fish. Because all it does is cause problems. Have a bare tank, smooth bottom, every few, all the muck can get away. So these are not small fish, so. Absolutely love red tail catfish, man. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to um, Viking Aquatics UK as well for mentioning me in his videos, I really appreciate that. He's got some stunning tanks, if you haven't subscribed to his channel go check him out. Like I say, it's Viking Aquatics UK. And then you've got the other one as well, um, Big Fish Lad Northwest, go check his channel out as well if you're not subscribed to him, go give him a sub. Big Kyle. Like I say, this is 8 foot long, 30 inches wide from front to back, and 27 inches tall. 1,300 litres. Yeah, I'll spin you around now. The camera's gone off. So, yeah, like I say, I do apologise for not updating you, everyone. Um, been flat out busy, I'll try and um, drop another video tomorrow. I don't see why I shouldn't to be fair, I'll have everything in insulated tomorrow, I'll talk you through what I've done and all that sort of stuff and then I've got the big job of moving this tank. I am looking forward to it because it needs moving but I'm not looking forward to mauling it around so I'm not taking it off the stand because it is an absolute beast. I don't even know how much it is in kilos so it's 12 mil glass so yeah oh she's a beast and um, I'll spin you around a minute I've got to show you my new lid as well so for those who don't know this from there to there is obviously one of them lids so when I put the easy pod <coughs> sorry guys I've got dust on my chest from next door so the easy pod is going to be higher than this tank so what I need to do is Obviously it's going to be pump fed and obviously um, gravity coming back out. So I've got a 50 mil hole there for the um, pump to come through and then I've got a 4 inch inlet pipe for obviously coming in on the inlet for the easy pod. And them easy pods do 10,000 litres with koi. So it's more than adequate for just run this tank for now until the pond's built. So yeah. Okay, everyone's sulking. I haven't had a water change for, like I say, nearly a week and a half. Everyone's moaning. <laughs> the only one who's not bothered about the water change is Pearl, the Albino Giant Garami, the two hour rewarders, and Gary the Gar. <laughs> Everyone else just sulks. It's pretty funny to be fair, especially the Oscars, they're right, my arses. So, yeah, here's Gazzy. Absolute epic fish. 
What's up, big lad? You can't have any food, you've had a good feed for the last week. Emperor Snake absolutely stunning fish. I say it's nearly 80, well, no, it is 18 inches. Albino Silver Arowana. Giving us a bit of camera action. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like I say, um, I do a video tomorrow of next door. So that's me guys, that's it. So thanks for watching, if you haven't subscribed please consider it. If you like the videos please like them. If you don't give them a thumbs down, I don't mind. Everything's appreciated. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Smash the like button as well and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.